Today's Big Stat is brought to you by Walgreens. Ohio State leads the way with the most NFL draft picks among Big Ten schools since 2000, followed by Michigan and then Penn State. In the 2023 draft class, though, it was the Wolverines who had the most with nine. No surprise, two of the highest projected Big Ten picks this year, both out of Ohio State and Michigan once again. And we're going to keep the theme going and talk more Wolverines as we move on to the offensive side of the ball and take a look at some prospects who could also go in the second round. All right, let's start with Michigan wide receiver Roman Wilson, another player who's not super big but has the athleticism, only dropped one pass last season. Dave, could he be a sleeper? I, I absolutely, and I'll, t I'll tell you what happened, Kylan. He, uh, a little bit like, Greg talked about with J.J. McCarthy, they didn't have the number of opportunities because Michigan's a run team. Right. But uh, he made plays when he had to. He caught the ball when he had opportunities. And he went, you know, ran 4-3. I mean, that is as fast as any receiver coming out this year in the draft. So he's got speed. He's got the character, the leadership. And he went to the Senior Bowl. And when you go to the Senior Bowl, uh, I've coached that a couple of times. You're competing now with the best players around the country and he had a great senior bowl so people know he is not a secret they know all about him all right how about another player you were very high on Washington wide receiver Jalen Polk 1100 plus yards nine touchdowns has really shot up the draft boards recently why is that he, he has uh, I'll, t I'll tell you why he people are making the comparison he started Texas Tech transferred to Washington and with Odunze and Wilson and the receivers they had at Washington this guy still had 70 65 or 70 receptions but they are comparing him to Debo Samuels and why Debo Samuels the the, the player from uh, the 49ers is because this guy they they can put him at running back he's as tough a receiver that's coming out in this draft you can play him a lot of places and he's going to get the ball in the end zone Okay, how about Maryland OT Delmar Glaze? Yeah, big big Delmar. I like Delmar. Uh, Delmar will get drafted. Uh, I think that he's going to be, you know, with his size, he's so big, uh, but he, he's kind of a road grader. I think that he'll end up at guard. I don't know if he's athletic enough to play out there and tackle and block those edge rushers. So I could see him get drafted and somebody move him to offensive guard. Okay, interesting. Former Michigan running back Blake Corum, another player who's not necessarily big, holds a lot of records in terms of that program, though. Do you see his game translating to the NFL? You're looking a little – you look like you're thinking about it. Uh, there's one thing that he's going to have to prove to every NFL general manager, and he's going to get drafted. This guy's okay. a great player. We all know that. I mean, he's strong. I mean, the guy had – I wrote it down here. Would he have 30 reps on the bench at 225? Oh, wow. Uh, Offensive linemen do that. That's yeah. that's lineman numbers. So he's got power. He can make guys miss all the rest. One thing that he's going to have to prove that he can line up and the team blitzes a linebacker that's 250 pounds and you got to be able to step up and block them and protect your quarterback. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing I'm talking to a lot of people that they want to see Blake do. If you'll step up in third down and block when somebody's blitzing, then he's going to have a great future. you got to do that, though, in the NFL. Any evaluation of him blocking at Michigan? Yeah, some, some, some. But, you know, in, in Michigan, a lot of times in third down, remember, they would put Edwards in, right? right yep. Mm -hmm. And he would kind of be not the third down back because they both did it, but he was a bigger often, guy. Yeah, and he, he was, was – I'm mm -hmm. sure – I don't know this, but I'm sure that's what Jim was thinking, Harbaugh, when he, when he made – you know, when he put Edwards in in third down a few times. Okay, how about Ohio State tight end Cade Stover? Where do you see him going? I think he's another interesting one. He's real interesting. I mean, where do you want to play him? I mean, this this guy started – I had a double check it this morning talking to our producer, Pavos. Yeah. I mean, the guy started at linebacker yep. in the Rose Bowl against Utah. And, and, you know, he's been a tight end. He's been a defensive end. He goes back – a linebacker. Uh, you know, that's great. You can evaluate a guy and say, boy, he can do a lot of things. But if you're going to spend money in a high draft pick, you'd kind of like to see him do one thing really, really special. And he probably hasn't had enough opportunities. I, he'll make a team. Draft this guy. He will find a way to make your football team. I don't know if he'll go in the second round. It might be later. But uh, he's a good football player. You'd love to have him on your team. And what kind of system, then, could you see him best fitting in with? <laughs> Probably a system. He's such a good athlete. Yeah. I think he's going to have to be a tight end that can move on the line of scrimmage okay. and kind of be that combination 
tight end and fullback where they can block him off the line because he's such a good foot athlete. Right. Okay. Makes sense. All right. Well, there's a look at some of the offensive selections who could go in the second round out of the Big Ten. Once again, NFL draft day here. Hard to believe. We're going to talk more about what goes on inside the war rooms coming on later in the show. But coming up next, we turn to the hottest team in Big Ten softball. Michigan head coach Bonnie Thole joins the show to share her team's focus as they look to extend a 10-game win streak.